In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new local Git repository. We've already launched the XQML editor, and the first thing I'm going to do is switch to the Git repository exploring view. If there were any repositories already present in this workspace, you would see them listed here. Since there aren't, we see the options to add, clone, or create a new local Git repository in the center of the screen. Note that these same options are reflected as icons at the top of the screen to add an existing local, clone a repository, or create a new local repository. We're going to create a new local repository. When we create the new local repository, we need to select a parent directory for the Git repository. The selection that we make here is very important. It's important that we do not select a location that is under the Eclipse workspace. If we do so, Eclipse working folders, or rather Eclipse working files, will be written to this folder, causing the Git repository to be marked dirty when we don't want it to be. So I'm going to create my Git repository in a folder right off of my root directory um, called Git. That will be my parent folder. The name of this particular repository, I'll call my sandbox. Congratulations, you've now created your first local Git repository. In, a, in the next video, we'll show you how to add things to this repository and share it with on, onto github.com.